welcome back to the HTC Recharged Tournament. Um, going pretty well, guys. Going pretty well. Uh, we've uh, gone over some of the comments. Again, we have like a Reddit thread up if you guys want to uh, immortalize some of your thoughts on how the tournament is going. And apparently one of the thoughts was to vanish the casters. So we made that adjustment. We we got rid of Crip and Nimsh because they're obviously terrible. And we replaced them with Nimsh and Crip. So here we are. Pretty neat. Yep, we did it. All right, guys, coming up, we got Dog versus Purple Drank. Any oh thoughts about these players? All right, so uh, let's start with Dog because uh, he is uh, one of the top players recently. He was second in the final of a DreamHack Summer. That was a big Swiss, and um, you you could lose only one game to to qualify. He lost uh, he lost the first game, and then he went undefeated till the final. And the final, he lost to Tiddler, but uh, a really great player. He favors Rogue. And he's up versus Purple Drunk, uh, who is um, not that known, but uh, known enough. Like Purple, Purple is a great player uh, on Team Archon. Uh, he is also a coach, and he coaches the guys. And he is um, doing really well recently in the tournaments. And um, in he's the also bringing Rogue, isn't he? Um, he's also like a pretty big Rogue player, yeah. I thought. Yeah, he is a, a big Rogue player as well. So uh, a match of Rogues, but then Dog didn't bring Rogue. He brought Priest. Priest, boys. How about that? Oh man, another priest. And Druid, like, he's mixing things up a lot. Double yeah, Druid, both, actually. Yeah, both players brought Druid, Purple Drank with the Rogue and the Mage, and Dog with the Priest and the Warlock. I'm mostly excited to see what kind of Priest version we'll see here. It seemed like uh, Gar, I mean, Gar has pulled a win, but it didn't really seem particularly strong. Maybe it's one of those, like, slightly under the radar decks, though. What's your, uh, what's your guess on the Priest deck? I really want to see the mech priest, uh, mech priest that I mentioned recently, but um, I think it again will be just a control deck that's good versus Zoo because Zoo is so popular uh, recently. So I want to see mech, probably control. Well, the players have locked in their class selections. They are going in with Rogue from Purple Drank and Druid from Dog. Um, this is a pretty strange matchup. Uh, I think people are uh, have some mixed opinions about it. Um, it, I mean, the rogue can win the game if it gets like a really good draw, but because the rogue doesn't have taunts and you can't sap some of the charge minions, sometimes you get rolled over by combo. Uh, what's your take on this? So it's like, as you said, mostly a, a lot of mixed opinions. Whoever favors the class will say that the class has an edge. Uh, I think it's a 50-50. It's really about okay. the minions. It's really disabled. Like, rogue is a tempo deck, so you need to have those minions on board and be the one being aggressive. Uh, to mm -hmm. win overall, but if Druid is able to have those minions first, uh, big taunts that Rogue needs to, to struggle, and the Druid is being aggressive, then Druid will win instead of Rogue. So I think it's more of a 50-50, really depending on what you get early, how do you trade, unless you're playing a Taunt Druid. Wow. It feels like Taunt Druid's maybe not so good. Yeah, it's normally not good because of the big daggers and big flurries. You can go for it, but maybe if you you know if you use the sap earlier um, on Druid of the Claw, then a big five ten being is being dropped, and you have to spend so much damage to go for it if there is no sap. Yeah, but look at this hand though. Like you have Emperor Tharson combo and taunts. Like this is this is just about right. Like, you don't have the mana acceleration, which is usually critical. But if you're going to have a hand that doesn't involve, like, wild growth or innervate, then this is about it. Yeah, I think overall it's a pretty good hand, actually. With uh, okay. Especially with Emperor hitting all those uh, key cards, like Ancient of War, Lore, and the combo parts. That's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Purple Drake is able to clear out this Drake, but um, how is he going to do it? Um... Do you want to just oil and attack? This this seems pretty bad, I think. Yeah, because of the deadly poison play. Yeah, you need to, I believe you need to develop minions. Uh, so at any point of the game, you have to be the one having the minions, clearing uh, your opponent's board, or like even forcing your opponent to clear your minions and uh, just dealing damage to their face. That's how you win those games. But the, the to Torison on six is so powerful for Dog. It will enable a lot of good plays coming forward. Yeah, um, if he draws the other Savage Roar, it enables uh, a super combo, the 22 damage Cheezathon. Yeah, that's which, full Cheezathon there. 
She's actually in range of. Oh no, he drops the heal bot. That's smart. Yep, getting ready for that. Actually, actually if, you... if, if he had the other Savage Run and Innervate, it was actually like enough damage to kill him that turn. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? That, that's... Like, the possibilities are absolutely absurd. It's pretty broken. So, some of the choose cards are are crashing uh, the spectator mode. That's why we had to uh, reset there for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, again, there are some issues with spectator mode, and we are doing our best to circumvent them. All right. So with a five final board, still a lot of health. I think it uh, it's looking good for dog. Do you see how giant of a weapon Purple Drank has? Yeah, but then like Doc can just unleash first combo here. Uh, so you go with the combo, deal 21 points of damage, and next turn, you hmm, you have nine. All right, so you probably don't combo here. Like if you would get a second Savage Rod, then double combo makes a lot of sense. But uh, without double combo, you probably need to plan around it. Yeah, I like the combo aspect just because, um, like, if you keep playing minions, the rogue can interact with that. If you're just doing a crazy amount of damage, it's hard for the rogue to be able to do anything. Yeah, but on the other hand, like if you if you don't combo, you just play minions. You do have a lot of hidden damage. Like you have this burst combo you're sitting mm -hmm. on. It's just like that that rogue. I mean, again, we're having some issues with choose cards, but um, that rogue was sitting on like nine cards or something. Like you know, you're losing your board, right? Like that's no mystery. Yeah, that's true. How much damage is it? Is it like? A disgusting amount. <laughs> yeah, this is basically how you win the games. Is that lethal? No, he will be clearing. Um, okay. He definitely wanted to eviscerate the, the shredder to clear the board and deny uh, possibility of combo kill. Okay, well here you can uh, wrath and set up another taunt. But I mean, he would have won. He would have won if he just. Uh... He just went for combo, right? He would have been at nine. No, he would. Yeah, he would have. No, he no. Would have one but... short would swipe Drew the claw, right? But he can still do it. I mean, he can rough this. No, six... he would. Have, he would have had swipe and force of nature. He would have had lethal. Yeah, that will actually be twenty-one. So rope will be at. Um... Yeah, that's true. That will be enough. But you never know, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, he hadn't drawn the swipe that turn. And also at this point, uh, he can just rough and go for the combo and set up a kill next turn. Mm -hmm. So would be seven points of health, and that's Force of Nature and Swipe. And at this moment, Purple doesn't have Lethal in hand. He'll need to draw into something. Um, it seems like he needs to draw into more than one card, though. Like, what is a one card uh, seven damage solution? Oh, to, to deal like damage, seven damage. Hmm. Not, not, not really anything I can see there. Uh, Here, that's pretty impressive. Uh, a lot of variety there, and uh, definitely I'm excited to see those games. We've seen so many patron games that I, I, I want to rest and uh, maybe patron next match. Yeah. Well, with Rogue so dominant, um, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Like the weapon removal is so so premium these days. Um, like you have you have rogue still like kind of there. You have warriors dominant. You have hunter as dominant. That's why weapon removal is so good. Yeah, and you can yeah. justify the ooze or like Harrison Jones in the deck. So this right. might be the the game changer. And right now we see that Dog is playing a standard handlock, even though he was recently playing Maligus Warlock. That, I believe, is a bad matchup for the Rogue. Um, always favoring the Handlock, because you just play those big mm. creatures and Rogue can't do much about it. They need a very big dagger, but they need to draw as well. Yeah. Well, again, this is one that has some mixed opinions. Uh, some people believe the, uh, the Rogue is slightly favored. I don't think anybody believes that the Rogue is, like, dominant. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes that, yeah. Maybe hyped. Like, Maybe. last time I asked Hype about this matchup, he was like, yeah, Rogue has an advantage. Uh, wait. And then he started, like, analyzing the match. Yeah. Okay. It's so like that's eight to his own face. He doesn't need 
health that much versus handlock and definitely uh, having a big Edwin is, uh, is an advantage. Mm -hmm. So he was able to deal with the giant, that's, that's important. Uh, he has also preparation sprint, another mechanism that might be, that might enable purple to have options and to stay in the game. Belcher doesn't look like that great of an option here. What else is there? Like, if you play Twilight Drake... Yeah. If you play Twilight Drake, you take six to the face. Well, that's fine, because then you can uh, Molten Giant, Dark Bomb. And you might lose next turn? You think you would? If there is a sap into Twilight Drake... Um... Mm. Well, actually, such Vulture would be the same. This this play looks more risky than what we just talked about. Yeah. Torison on six, but still, oh my god. How much damage is it right now? There is ten at least. Uh looks like just ten. I don't even think you can draw into lethal with a sprint. Even if you like prep an oil or something, I don't think it's enough. It shouldn't. But this is pretty smart, like, Purple Dragon develops the board and um, he keeps Dog outside of the Molten Giant Taunt range. Yeah. Well, Dog's been able to uh, get rid of that 6-1, uh, very annoying Van Cleef here at the very least. He can get a cheap ooze to deal with the weapon as well, even though the weapon is not buffed, but that's still two mana that Purple Dragon will have to spend. Yeah, just to deny that tempo. Yeah, that's really quite fine. Like, if you think about it, Ooze is a 2-mana 3-2, which is okay. And then you have the Battle Cry that, you know, sets your opponent behind 2-mana. Yeah, that makes sense. sense. Yeah, well, if, he, if he feels that he is fine with the weapon and he just develops big taunts uh, this turn, if he plays Twilight, taunts it up, that's 5 points of mana, Dark Bomb... I like the Ooze, actually, because then you get the two taunts. Ooze uh, challenges both Shredder and, uh, and Farseer. I think you're right, but um, I don't think I would have thought of it. So, yeah. Nope. Double Drake is just super strong, though. How so, do you deal with that? You sap them? Come on. Double sap? two saps, though. <laughs> he draws cards for sure. Yeah. And there is 8 points of damage, so he needs 9. And sometimes playing versus Handlock is so annoying, because you kind of want to sap those Twilight Drakes, but then you can't attack that much. Wait, actually so he could have he could have gained lethal if he got exactly prep, oil, and eviscerate. Oh wow, yeah that's true. So no big daggers for now, for pur for purple. He's he's locked, like he can't attack, uh, but he has a lot of a lot of cards, a lot of options. But then Dog is the one who will be building up the board. Double sap though. Yeah. Do you play around double sap though? No. Okay, good. I guess you do. Get some of those things off the board. With the blade flurry, you've only got the deadly poison to really make it work. Uh, the Deadly Poison doesn't do that much. At least not without spell damage. He's going for the double sap and hopes there is no more Tone Givers. Mm -hmm. Well, at least there is some mana wasted uh, for Dog, so he'll have to replay those minions. And you set up for a Deadly Poison, Flurry, Eviscerate finish next turn. Okay, so, um... Yeah. That's not even lethal, though, is it? That's... With what, uh, minion attack? No, it's so one short. It's 14. 6, 10... Yeah, he'll be one short. Yeah, so Purple Drain's looking at a two-turn clock, and that's... It's, it's far away right now. It's a really bad matchup, I believe. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. okay, it's... It, it's close if you get a certain cards, but Purple just had normal draws. Nothing really exquisite. Mm -hmm. Well, here comes the Boomster. 
no sap for this guy, so he's gonna stick. And then the following turn, if you take any damage at all, you can probably uh, uh, Molten Giant heal bot and taunt them up. Some, some rogues are playing BGH, so there is still a chance that Purple has one and will draw into one. Well, I guess that's true. But you'd much rather get that BGH rather than a taunted up Molten Giant. Still searching for, for some options. Second flurry is not two, it. Two. Fair. The average is five, by the way. Two boom bots normally do five total damage. Okay. Did you, did you count it, or is it like normal average? Yeah, normal. Both the minimum ranges plus both the maximum ranges. Alright. Nice. Yeah, this is really terrible. Just place Lotha because that's the only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will be close to lethal? Not really. So he'll fire, unfortunately, because of Lotha, is stopped. Be plus eh, it wouldn't have been enough, would it? No. The only other damage boost he has is the Defender of Argus. Alright, so after double sap, you just set up big taunts and, uh, and you're happy about that. I don't think you taunt him at all. I think you just play that and heal. I think ooze, like, if you're ever going to play a tempo ooze, it's right now. Can I guess he's not... waiting for a big dagger. If it happens. I guess. Well, Dog is still in a, such a great position here. He doesn't need to force the ooze. I just feel like if your opponent just spends a whole turn building a big dagger, you just kill him. So he knows that one flare is out, picks up a mountain giant here, and basically set up mountain defender. And uh, he could have tapped there, but I guess he doesn't need to. So why he is going for the tempos. Finally. Oh man, it finally happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Purple is sighing. This is a tough spot. Mm -hmm. We got four and five. No, it's not that tough. Yeah, like, he's going to spend all the cards here. Yeah, but he does survive the turn. Okay, single Talos. Kyle Talos get lethal, possibly, not really. Not this turn at least. Sprint? Sprint is not bad. But yeah, but like, of... how do you deal with both of those without saps? No, you, you, can't, you can't really. No yeah. saps, you, you use a lot of bursts as well. Attack into Molten Giant with face. No, don't show him the double prep, double oil. Those are staple cards. He doesn't care. Yeah, they're very staple. All right. Well, Purple, Purple Drank is uh, not doing so well right now, man. Dog getting favorable matchups. Um, ending pretty well, man. 2-0. We haven't seen this spot too frequently today. Uh, but in, in one of the cases, uh, who was it? It was a full reversal? Lothar versus Shifker was able to, to get in. Oh, yeah. And then we had an intense uh, Warlock Warlock game. And here, yeah. you know, Doc has that Priest, and Priest is bad versus Rogue. Mm -hmm. And then Priest versus Mage. Priest is usually pretty okay versus Mage. Yeah. Most Mages. Priest versus Druid favors the Druid, I believe. I think Priest used to be a lot better against Freeze Mage, but no longer. It used to be that you have to thought steal a nice block, maybe. No, it just used to be that you just had to heal a whole bunch, but that's not possible anymore because Emperor Tharson makes it so you die from thirty. That's true, like Antonidas, Fireballs, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so this is not Mech Priest. So no, it is. Um, 
This is like anti aggro priest with the, the Velens and the Death Lords. And he's playing against Freeze Mage. Uh, this has to be a bad matchup. But maybe not. I mean, if you can, um, if you can Death Lord out, like, uh, I don't know. Antonidas? Antonidas, yeah, maybe. Okay, this will be interesting, like... So, Doomsayer triggering Death Lord. And if Alex Straza goes on board, what happens? You know, Valence Chosen doesn't do anything, you have to just Thought Steal and pass. Nice Doomsayer. barrier, that's really bad, because it's very unlikely the mage uh, ever gets any face attacks in. Okay, so what's the minion? Heal buff. Wow! That's pretty good too. Yeah, that's a minion that will help. Oh man, this matchup looks really bad. And uh, purple has a lot of minions, and those minions provide him with the draw. So, and counter spell, counter spell is totally a uh, surprise for me. Yeah, it's true. So, this might not be the freeze mage. It can still be the giant mage. I think the Giants may just playing one counter spell. The, like Eco, Giants. It's still it's it's a playable deck. I've seen it a couple of times. Uh, I believe Stanislav Sivka was playing it. Um I think Dreamhack. Mm, I didn't quite catch this series, so I'm not too familiar with that. So basically it's uh it's similar to, to Freeze Mage, it ha it has Doomsayers uh, to clear the board, but then you have duplicate, you have Thunder spell. You have Eco of Med Eco of Mediv, and uh, it's kind of like an old version of just uh, playing those value minions to stall and then mm -hmm. just win at some point because you have Ice Block, you have uh, Ice Barrier. I, th I think the counter spell is really cool. It is something that'll work uh, once or twice. I feel like when you make a deck like this. Um, you know, it might it might get you past your first round, but I mean, in this tournament, you have to win more rounds than just that. Uh, all the players that play today will have to, I believe, keep the same decks for tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. And all the players uh, will be able to see exactly what you've played. But you know, this deck, like even if your opponent knows what he's playing against, uh, it's still a difficult deck to to win against because like you're not prepared for this kind of deck um, yeah. with the standard. So if he feels like this gives him a good matchup versus the most popular builds. Why not bring it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, getting some cards. Oh, that's a nice card to get. Greetings. Zombie Chow, I'm not so sure. It's gonna get countered though. It's like, oh. <laughs> Dog <laughs> is like, oh man, really? Who plays Counter Spell? spell? It's a it's a pretty good, pretty good counter though. Uh, I feel the ice barrier might be better to counter, but maybe actually not because uh, purple giant is fighting a little bit for the board. Uh, because we see the Iceland's, I think this is freeze mage, mm -hmm. just the one tech counter spell. All right, so dog will be trying to just uh, draw cards, but overall. I don't see him winning yet. Mm -hmm. Purple Jungle will have enough time to draw into all the combo pieces. It's just like whenever you have like all these strange uh, additions to a very refined deck like Freeze Mage, you have to guess that like some perhaps important pieces might be missing. But the only surprising thing is the counter spell. So it's like one slot. Oh, the heal bot I think is not that standard. It goes in and out. Like some people play one one off, some people don't play it at all. I think in recent lists mostly there was one, but then there was a little hoarder as well. So something is missing for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's playing like one flame strike. It's tough. It's tough to say. Yeah, it is tough. All right. Well, the priest just keeps on drawing, just like the mage. Yeah, the problem is that Dog doesn't really have a, a combo that's going to OTK Purple Jung. And Purple just got Alexstrasza, he's Antonidas. 
if he gets Torison, it will be amazing. But even without Torison, the more the game goes on, the b better for purple. Ooh, Sylvanas. Sylvanas is um, often not going to work too well against the Freeze Mage. But, no, I think we've only seen one Doomseer from the Mage. We saw one Doomseer from the Mage, one from Priest. the uh, Priest. Yeah. So there is an... The secret is an ice block, right? No, the secret is an ice barrier, but I don't see lethal in Purple Drink's hand, so I don't, I don't think it matters. I think he's going to do Antonitis, then uh, Frostbolt Ice Lance. Get Antonitis Nova. Just to yeah, Antonitis Nova is like a standard play. You protect Antonitis, you get one Fireball, and then he has double Fireball. Oh, he's go going for the first ball. I like right. this play better. Well, there is no risk of dying and he got uh, the fireball, so you're right, that was better. So the dog just continues to heal himself. What else can you do? Uh, yeah, you have some kind of board. So this is this is a nice block. The secret that's on. No, it's not. It's a nice barrier. Why didn't? Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, on the purple drunk side. Oh, yes, yeah, dog, yes. Dog has a nice barrier. Yeah. That was confusing. <laughs> you just got the ice barrier again. <laughs> God. Dog's like, man. Why you do this to me, game? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely something you don't want to get. An ice block at least, like, can stop a pyroblast. At this point, purple has enough burst. So much damage in hand. Four oh, fireballs. He doesn't have enough uh, burst for a one turn lethal. So he's still kind of working on that. And Dog is, is healing up little by little, but uh, purple drank is uh, many turns from dying. He will have 12 points of damage this turn, 13 with hero power. And then another 13 next turn. So, yeah. You just hope this is not an ice block, because he doesn't know what it is. Actually, the Emperor Tarsen seems pretty good. Alright, so he goes for a very safe play to try to uh, uh, just guarantee lethal just uh, what he has here. He doesn't have a Velens up anymore, so the Holy Nova will only do two damage. And uh, Dog does need to play it because he knows there's two more fireballs because he saw Antonius put them in his hand. That's true. So Dog barely escapes the range. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there is a Frostbolt pickup. So with oh, this, you can definitely. That's true. That's good enough. Even if you. Purple Giant that... doesn't know what secret that is, but. Yeah, with Frostbolt, he can check it. Yeah, he'll be very happy to find out that uh, he's going to win the game. <laughs> that's, that's a good result for him. Oh, Purple Jank puts a point on the board. Um, doesn't let Dog completely run over him. And uh, there is a, a little bit of a comeback potential here. Uh, this seems like a pretty standard Priest list. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really see why it's particularly strong uh, in the current meta that we're seeing in tournaments these days. So... I have a feeling that even though Dog is ahead, he might struggle to get a win at all with this Priest deck. Um, it'll probably do like okay against the Druid, but probably do quite badly against the Rogue. And I mean, uh, I yes. don't know. I'm just not optimistic about it at all. It's still possible for Dog to basically lose here with the Priest. As you said, like Rogue is a bad matchup. Um, I believe this, this Priest was called Chinese Priest. Uh, it was the first time mm -hmm. uh, when we saw it, uh, the Chinese Ladder. People are playing Light Bomb and anti aggro. Maybe he brought it uh, to counter Zoo and, and Patron. I'm not sure how good it is versus Patron, but I, I wouldn't yeah. say it's that good versus it Patron. It doesn't seem that good. I think it's mostly good against just aggressive decks. If, you, if, you, if you're seeing like a lot of tempo decks, a lot of like face decks, even like Zoo is taken out quite well by the Death Lord. But past that, I don't really see it. So this matchup will be interesting. Like, it's. Mostly one-sided for the rogue, just uh, playing tempo cards, overwhelming priest. It, even if priest is trying to get aggressive, then just rogue 
kills the board and then takes the game because there's no burst for the priest. But there's Harrison Jones, which uh, if hits a proper weapon with the buff, might be the game changer. Mm -hmm. um, well, he can remove this North Shire by quenching out the deadly poison, but he chooses not to, which uh, ends up being quite a mistake, actually. Now he's going to have to use Deadly Poison and Eviscerate. That's painful, that's a little damage. But then it's uh, 2 for 2. You deal with 2 cards with uh, 2 cards. Well, so. it's like one, one and a half for 2. It's pretty good still. And next turn he has Preparation uh, Sprint. Or... Or the Drake. Tinker Oil! <laughs> These thought steals, man. <laughs> Yeah, it just I work. feel like yeah, the, the more combo decks people play, the 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 worse thought steal is. Like you get half a combo or something, it's garbage. Yeah, I have to agree. And uh, this is uh, what we mentioned before as well. Just uh, when you steal bad cards, priest might struggle. Mm -hmm. So double Drake, pretty good. And now uh, Dog will have to deal with this. Was he considering light bomb? Might no, I don't think so. Sylvanas, yeah, Light Bomb would be terrible. Sylvanas would probably get sapped, and then Light Bomb's probably gonna be a good play. So, going for the card draw here? Not really. Alright. Well, you go with the, with the Light Bomb. No, he just wants to go with Sylvanas again. So now with Shadow War Death, he was considering maybe keeping it, but Sylvanas is still very decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Purple goes for the sprint to get more cards, uh, try to get that sap. Did he get the sap? Nope, he didn't. Oh, he, he actually did. got the sap. Whoa, is there a sap here? He's got the prep as well. Yeah, he can do prep, sap, and then like SI face. Better than Edwin? Just, uh, oh, is there an Edwin in there? there oh, there is an Edwin in there. Okay. But this Edwin will be too big, I feel. Um, prep. Too big for what? You think this Priest is running BGH? I don't think so. The Shadow War Death is a, a possibility. So you Shadow might be Death is okay. You might be going for a 6 6 Edwin. Yeah, 6-6 six, six is better than, than a bigger one. Because with 6-6, six, six, even if there's a BGH, you like ask about Shadow War Death. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm just gonna death that real quick. Um, looks like he likes the Sengen. Seems fine to me. Well, the Priest has uh, disposed of a lot of threats. He's been sapped once already. It's going okay. It's just like it's very hard for the priest to actually seal out a game. Yeah, like this this light bomb, light bomb might be important to to clear and to to keep the board in check, but I don't know. Like if Rogue loses all the minions, then maybe uh, priest just needs to get this game to fatigue or something. Do you like the light bomb there? I believe uh, the other option was to shrink Meister and Cabal. I would prefer Shrinkmeister Cabal. Because you got a bigger board and you force Rogue to trade into your board. And it's not like dealing with... Oh man, this is the double Shrinkmeister Cabal. <laughs> this is actually pretty sick. Will he see oh, the please, play? Please don't death that. Oh, what? Maybe he doesn't want to overextend into Flurry. But that was such a sick play. Yeah. Okay, now you shrink Meister Cabal. Okay, he's doing it. He's doing for it. For sure. Looks like that was the game plan all along. Save it for the Shredder because it's super annoying to deal with. Might be playing second Cabal as well, or one Shadow Madness. So then Shrink yeah. Meister is actually a key card. Oh man, double oil. So he's just going for it. Seems good. That's one huge dagger. <laughs> the damage is just impossible. This is 
This is not equal, okay. Free two doesn't matter that much. Um, you might consider. S no, you can't do anything with it. Wow. Yeah. The only thing you can do is eviscerate face. <laughs> is he like, whatever drops from this, I can deal with this with the minion, and then there is an untargetable free two. Mm. So purple didn't seem that happy about that one. Okay, well, Lothop comes down. Becomes a pretty powerful uh, threat here. And purple spent so many resources on that attack that uh, Doc can actually maybe stabilize here. It's possible. It really depends on the draws of uh, purple, though. He's seen a lot of cards. And Doc just steadily pushing with damage. Yeah, the dogs dogs just inching up that um that health little bit by little bit, you know. Dog never lucky, getting the, the buff ascension. Yeah, that's gonna be sapped for sure now. It was a likely sap, now it's a certain sap. Well, if he doesn't sap it, then dog is one damage off. Did you just sap the low pip? Yeah he did. So he's going to eviscerate it. I guess he doesn't want to see a taunt. He's fine with Lothab. Lothab is going to... Oh, okay, with Farseer he basically... Senjin would block the Farseer from attacking and he needs to yeah. do damage. But there is Death Lord pickup. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Purple is playing Dr. Boom. Like some rogues do play it. Like most of them I, f I feel play it. Some of them do not. Do you think at this stage it's Dr. Boom that it needs to win the game at all? Well, Dr. Boom is definitely a big card that uh, that will help him a lot. Um, if he gets a sprint... Fan knives into backstab. <laughs> oh, Never man. lucky, boys. It's, Never lucky. It's, it seems like it's over. With Healbot, just dog running out of range. Oh, man. A purple I think is actually just... Healbot and Nova here. Yeah. This is so sick. And Purple is probably thinking, am I seriously losing to my best matchup? Is this the best matchup? I think it's, Priest is overall pretty good. Anti-aggro Priest. So, it's got that stopping power with the taunts. Maybe it's not quite the worst. It's not a good matchup for Priest, though, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so... Dog takes it. 3-1. Pretty dominant fashion. Um, was, was Dog the HTC player here? No. Um... He replaced uh, Ties of Time. Oh, which was supposed to be the HTC player? Yeah, that's that's right. Damn, no HTC player qualified. Damn it. Alright guys, well, uh, we are going to see uh, Kolemoen versus Zele coming up. Uh, he'll be fighting for the spot against the Gara in tomorrow's matches. And shortly after that, we will see uh, Nuguri versus Forsen Boys for the spot against Lothar, as we see there in the bracket. Finally, a force in play. By the way, Crip, yeah. all the Priest players, they went through. Both of them, you mean? Yeah. Well, all of them. All of them. All of them. And did all the Shaman players go through? Like, Trump went through. Wasn't there another Shaman player? No. No Just more Shamans. Yeah. Man, these obscure decks. They're Did not really that it? obscure. The Priests are certainly more obscure than the Shamans, as far as I'm concerned. But, uh... Yeah, it is interesting to see uh, a little bit of the flavor. Anyway, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the tournament. The uh, HTC Recharged. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a break to set up for the next match. Again, it's going to be Coleman versus Zele. And in the break, uh, I mean, you guys are just sitting around. We're going to take a few extra moments to uh, set this one up. Uh, so why don't you guys check out the promotional offer HTC has for you guys. They're putting on a tournament. They're putting in a big effort to make this thing happen. There's a link in the description that leads to a $50 uh, dollar discount on HTC phones. So maybe you need a new phone, maybe you just want a better one. Uh, check it out while we have a break, and we'll see you guys soon.